left my off-grid cabin early this morning and my tourism season is just around the corner and things are starting to get busy and lots of work and prep on the go and one of the main uh, questions when people come and stay with me is what are some things to do within the area so I live at an off-grid cabin and my business is an off-grid business as well so I'm off of Route 420 which is the Hampton Sops Arm uh, Highway area so if you continue down Route 420 there's a few rural communities there um, absolutely beautiful scenery uh, not a big lot to do there but nice to sightsee in Jackson's Arm they have a beautiful um, walking trail there that they have recently put in in the last few years it's uh, worth to um, take a look and walk the trail it's absolutely beautiful and so within a 45 minute to an hour radius of my place you have Deer Lake and surrounding areas Reedville Cormac there are lots of things to do within these areas uh, we have Rocky Brook Acres which is accommodations we have um, Upper Humber Settlement which is also accommodations as well as a food um, foraging tours you have Crooked Feeder Brewery which is of course crafted beer and they also have uh, food there as well uh, then you have Stonebrook Stables which is uh, horseback riding and lessons so there's a lot of great things to do within the area and of course in Deer Lake you have the a few walking trails and the Deer Lake Beach and today I'm heading to Cormac to one of the exciting things to do because I don't have time to do all of them and this one is going to be very exciting so stay tuned for this video because it's going to be a good one I'm going to get these signs put out now. I'm going to get three girls to bring these signs out and put them out. How are you doing today? Good. That's no good to be here. <laughs> nice to see you. Beautiful day, eh? Beautiful day. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Got to warm up a little bit. Get, get the bees moving, right? Oh, yeah. So I'm here today at the Cormac Bee Company and I'm here with Lee, which is the owner of the Cormac Bee Company, you and your wife. Yes. Uh, so you want to explain a little bit about your operation here? Good morning, Ashley. Good morning. <laughs> it's a gorgeous one. Beautiful day. Yes. Yeah. Uh, generally, we're a, we're a honeybee company. We all, we have multiple hives. We sell uh, nucleus cannulas, which is bees and native queens. We put out bee hives now. We, we put out our first one last last week. We extract honey. We make beeswax candles. We sell equipment. We specialise in eight frame beekeeping. Uh, we've been trained by a third generation beekeeper out of New Brunswick. And we also do tours. Starting, we got to figure it out. But, uh, we do tours, we bring people in, we allow them to dress up and get inside of a hive. We explain the inside of a hive, uh, what drawn home is, what like. queen bees are, and generally, and, and give you some some uh, education on uh, the art of beekeeping. That's awesome. So today you're gonna take me around here, and you're gonna show me around, and you're gonna yes. do all the fun stuff with me, and show me the bees. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Sure. So they are doing some renovations here on their craft shop. It's absolutely beautiful here so far. And Lee is just showing me some of the things that they're putting up on the walls. So this one will be ready for the summer. Yes, we're hoping no June 1st to push us on to get it finished. All these walls are going to be full with these honeycombs. And we're repainting the place. And uh, yeah, yeah, we have, we, we, we're carrying crafts from local vendors. We try to promote local as much as we possibly can. Uh, we have some, yeah, looking forward to uh, 
Looking forward to a new season. Perfect. These girls are working hard today. They're getting their signs put out for the summer season. So we're checking on the bees this morning. I'm going to give you a thing put over your head. They're okay. Okay. Like I, I, don't, I can go into them without a jacket on, but if you want me to put on a jacket, and, but I'll be keep without any. Okay. Do I need one? No. They won't sting me. Are you? If they do sting, is it an issue? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going in to check on the bees this morning and Lee has gone to get me um, some kind of bee suit to put on or a cover so I won't get stung hopefully but he says I don't really need it but who knows. <laughs> Might go home with one today. It's it's doable. Oh, four, four. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm ready to enter the beehive. <laughs> Anytime that you're working bees, you have to work from behind because you're in your flight pad here and, and you will make them aggressive. Out of here and they fly off. So if you're ever putting a, a hive at home, make sure that it's somewhere where it's not in the flight pad of your neighbors or your own. So everything's facing, facing south, southeast all the time. Okay. So we're going to go around the back of this one. Go around the back. So I'm here in the bee area. As you can see, there's lots of beehives around me and I'm fully covered in a suit although he tells me I don't need it but I'm here and all these bees are flying around me and landing on me and I have nothing yet so it's not too bad at all right Lee? You got her. Wonderful job. It's a good way to get over your fear. We have a lot of people come here that are that uh, have this phobia about bees because that's all they know and Think bees are wasps. Uh, get them in here for a while and, and just change their whole attitude towards. It gives you a different it. perspective altogether. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, which is great. Yeah. Outer cover. It's a bucket feeder. We feed them this time of the year because there's not much nectar, or well, very little nectar or pollen out there. So we feed them sugar water. How I told you, need that because they all this is called propolis. It actually is set from the trees. Okay. Put over here for now. The pollen substitute. So we feed this to the bees now because there's not enough pollen. Until the dandelion hits, there's not enough pollen or nectar to feed the bees. In what any of these hives could be anywhere from ten to thirty thousand bees. Oh my god, wow. And so here, right here in this section, there's like 30, 30 hives times uh, Twenty thousand. Right, so they need a they need a good source. So we yeah, don't. What happens is the brood is in the middle because you can see where all the bees are too. The queen is in here. They're in a cluster, so they always work from the middle. All that would be in brood, and as they come out, they have pollen and honey. So this frame is all honey. Can I can I touch it? Yes, you certainly can touch it. So if you see, so this is actual honey. From the bees. Kept honey, yeah. Kept with beeswax. So there's how many? There's a bunch of these in your box. There's there's eight in in the medium and there's eight in the deep. And this is how you guys take your honey off after. Exactly. Yeah. Now we won't take it. How neat is that, guys? And you can see that there's still some bees on this piece, and they're not bothering me one bit at all. No, 
They're doing their thing. They're okay. Now, if you happen to drop that, it could be an issue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. No. What I'll do here now, because the honey is facing in, because they always work in the middle, work their way out. I'll turn that around this way now, so they'll fill up this side. Okay. Right? I, I can't give you a taste because you got your bait on. But okay. ordinarily, I could just... Look at that. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So we look, this is all empty. So we know the queen's still got lots of room to lay. So we don't have to be concerned about that. And we're looking for eggs. If we see eggs, we know we have a queen. And we don't have to look for the queen. So we're going into the cluster. So that's where the queen is too? Uh, she's in here somewhere. Or she could be down. It depends on, you know, because queen could be anywhere. Does okay. She... Okay. Now you're going to have a good sight. You look in here, right close, you'll see eggs. You'll see larva. All this is cat brood. Mm -hmm. So it's cat brood and then there's honey. That is a lot of bees. Yeah. The bees are working away, doing their thing. Yeah, they're worker bees. There's worker bees, there's forager bees, there's guard bees. So this is all full of eggs. So this is. So queen. you can see where the saying goes, busy as a bee. Busy as a bee, yeah. You can just listen to the buzzing. It's so loud. We do our tours. We do a full excursion. We have suits for everybody. Must be some cute when the kids come in with their suits on. Cool. Yeah. They must love that. And they love it. I, I don't know who likes it more, parents or kids, to be honest with you. So now you're taking me to. I'm taking to the honey house. The honey house. Ah, <laughs> oh, the signs out. Ready for the season. Beautiful signs. Bring the frames in the box. We we just put them all here. We cap we uncap them. So we this one generally we cut the comb out of it. Yeah. But generally you bring one in. That's your frame. Yeah, the one that we see earlier. You scrape off the you scrape off the cappings. Yeah. And let it all drip in here. Then you you uh, you just put this here and let all the wax drip down there and it all flows out over here. After we uncapped it we put it in here and this will take eight frames so we stand them up this way and this is automatic so we turn it on and lay spin and it spin all the honey out of them and then we drip it out here we put a strainer on this then to strain the bees wax and whatever else out of it and we'll drain it into a bucket this is the uh, warming tank so this has a so there's a sleeve around that with, with warm water in it, right, it's electric, so that's the temperature. Right now in there is 20 some odd degrees Celsius. This is it, and then we, when we go to battle, this is, we lift this handle up and we fill our bottles. So it just pours right out of there just once it's warmed? Once it's warmed, yeah, yeah. Cause we leave so after we leave the, the bee box when and they take out their honey and they put it through their um, extractor extractor and their system, this is the final product. It's a, a bottle of honey. So I'm taking this one home with me today and that'll be good on toast first thing in the morning. With your tea, with your coffee. Mm -hmm. There you go, look, there that is. Still working. I know you got that on. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to So we're heading into the workshop now. Yeah. And that's where these ladies are hard at work. And all the bee boxes gets made. Okay. Let's go? Yep. Okay, this is an East Coast bottom board. Uh, this is in the rack which serves different purposes. In the winter, it cuts down a lot of draft coming up with the bees. In the summer, the bees can hang out down here and just cool down a little bit. And it also allows uh, them to protect it a bit more. So if they enjoy to intrude, they can get it before they come up. And this is the mouse guard, true guard. In the summer, it's, it's in this position. Come the fall, we'll turn it in this position so the moisture shrews don't get in. Nice. Then we, then we come over to the ladies' side. 
there's a couple of different setups that we can do. This is a DP because we sell nooks and for nooks we have to have these. So this is a medium. Now some systems I use systems, I use two mediums, I don't use a deep for our own. Uh, but generally this is this is a setup. So, so these boxes here are the same as what we've seen outside. Yes, they are. Where the bees go in. Yeah. And you can purchase these yes, from we, you guys? Yes, yeah, we sell them and we're in the process of also manufacturing them. So if anyone wants bees from the property, they can come here and get a box and they can, get everything and they can go home and they can yeah. have bees to... And when you go to paint, always paint the outside, but don't ever, don't ever paint the inside because the bees will propolize all that and they'll seal it all up to their own liking or to protect it all. So that's a full kit. So people, we, we've got some of these sold. So people are coming in their bonder bees and the bonder kit. So they go home with this and they're done. Everything is covered. They're in the beekeeping. That's pretty cool. I think you got me convinced, Lee. Oh, you're going out of here with bees today, <laughs> my darling. So, we, so for me, having gardens and a farm, of course, and lots of strawberries and and carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, and zucchini and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So bees is the perfect thing for pollinating it. You will, your, your crop will be 20 to 30% more by having bees. So if you got, if you got, you know, a thousand strawberries last year, this year you'll get 20% more. That's generally what they do. I mean, they're pollinators. That's what they do, right? right? So basically what you're telling me is this would be perfect for my place. That would be, uh, that, you know, guys, I highly recommend you have one because I know you're a nature bro and you will, you will just, uh, this is great. This ups the game for you. It really does. Right? It ups the game for you and your love of nature. I know it has for me. We don't just sell you bees and send you home. We support you until you get to the point where you... That sounds good because I'll probably have a hundred million questions. Oh, yes. And, and bring them on. Yeah. Right? You know, we have... So I'm going home with bees today. You're going home with bees today. <laughs> I can see off Mel's face now. Oh, what is she into now? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you're, I'm telling you, your, your, your whole experience changes. You well, know. I better get moving, and uh, I got bees to look after. We have bees to look after, yeah. <laughs> now we gotta go find your hive. There you go. <laughs> so my bee boxes are in the back of the truck and headed back to my place. Absolutely beautiful here, and uh, home with the bees. You're very welcome, and enjoy the journey. You're, uh, you're never alone in the beekeeping. We certainly support you every which way we can. Call us or text us, or drop by anytime. You'll probably get a few calls before the day. I would say, but enjoy, and, and you'll, you'll be down and very, very flowers there. I'll be happy. Y'all be happy. <laughs> <laughs> like that song, you gotta be happy. No. 100%. <laughs> thank you very much. And thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Be a pleasure. So I just left the bee company and I'm getting ready to head back home and one place I have to stop when I leave Deer Lake of course is the ice cream shop Papa Joe's. Uh, Papa Joe's been here a long time. I remember as a little small kid coming here for ice cream and still coming here now and they have every ice cream flavor that you can imagine, every topping. You can mix and match it. There's absolutely no limit to what you can have in ice cream so let's go get some. Sandra, the owner. Hi. At Papa Joe's, how long have you been here? Uh, roughly 30 years. Yeah, I said that. I said I come here when I was a kid. That's a long time. Long, long time. Long time scooping ice cream. Lot of scooping. <laughs> yeah. Lot of swirls and twirls. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.
just look at this. A banana split fit for a queen. Here with my banana split, which is absolutely delicious. I, uh, the crowd from the school just got in uh, for lunchtime and they are pretty well packed in there now and quite busy, so I decided to take my ice cream outdoors to eat. Delicious, it's so good. You can't beat, you can't beat ice cream. On my way home and I'm stopping here at White Bay Convenience or Hampton Restaurant as we call it. So anybody staying at my place during the summer, um, this is just 15 minutes out the dirt road from my place and you can pick up your supplies, your snacks, your chips, your bars, um, you can take takeout food, you can also pick up your beer and stuff for whether you're on your way into my place or on your way out of my place. Um, great spot to stop. I'm going to go in now and have my supper for this evening after all day and uh, great place to stop. Small, don't you understand? I don't know, ask the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> had to add me ketchup. So this is my supper for the night. Just back here at my off-grid cabin after all day in town. It was an exciting day uh, at the Cormac Bee Company. A learning experience for me, that is for sure. And I came home with some bees in a bee box and I got to get that sorted away the weekend now. But uh, they will pollinate, of course, all my gardens and my fields and my strawberries and stuff. And uh, it's supposed to be great for pollination and make your, um, I guess your gardens and stuff flourish more so than normal. So I'm excited to see how that works. And uh, I got lots of exciting videos coming up very shortly. Um, I got a lot of work to do here around the cabin, prepare for summer and uh, tourism season. But this is some of the things that are available when staying here, of course. There's lots more things to do within the area. I just touched on one of them today. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode and I hope you guys Stay tuned for more here at Adventures Off Grid. <music>